how did it feel to be such big role models to the LGBTQ community during Queer Eye? That's why I switched to a light beer so I could be a smaller role model. Yeah, <laughs> less roles, more models. I feel like a lot of people are going to find their confidence and f be comfortable probably during Pride yeah. Month and maybe want to come yeah. out. I mean, what was that moment for you when you yeah. realized that you were comfortable and confident to come out? Oh, oh my God, I'm still working on it. Yeah, are you? Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I do no, it. No, no, Tell no. everybody. I have to say, you know, I think that I think that um, the best gift you can give anyone is really the opportunity to be comfortable in this. And, and look, I think it happens to everybody at a different time, a different age. Some people it happens when they're toddlers. Second grade. And some people it happens when they're in high school or college or when they're adults or when they start to have children or just when they sort of grow up. When, when you're ready. When you're ready. And when but you the feel thing supported. Is, the, I think step one is be comfortable in your own skin and hopefully um, be, be helpful for people to be comfortable in this. But, but when you do have that comfort, it's a luxury. And then it's really great to be able to sort of give that gift to other people and know that you love them exactly who they are. Especially if they're a bartender and they make delicious drinks. Mm, yeah. <laughs> How did it feel to be such big role models to the LGBTQ community during Queer Eye? That's why I switched to a light beer so I could be <laughs> a smaller role model. Yeah, less roles, <laughs> more models. You know, I think when we started out, you know, we're coming up on the 20th anniversary of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, which is yeah. incredible because we're only, we're only 19. <laughs> uh, I know, we started when we were one. In utero. And, um, uh, but I think, you know, none of us really thought we were going to be role models. Yeah. I, mean, I just wanted to get rid of mullets and pleated khakis, you know, and you just wanted to give people beautiful spaces. Yeah, I just, yes. Yeah, you but know. just not boring interiors. But I think, you know, reality TV especially, places where you're visible mm -hmm. and you're just being who you are and doing your job and moving through the world the way that you move through the world yeah. um, can be very impactful. TV is a very intimate medium. You're in people's homes. People watched as a family. Young people could have discussions and say, oh, what is gay? Oh, what? I think this is yeah. fabulous. Oh, I didn't know any gay people before. I saw them on the show and I, of course they should have the same rights as us. Of course they should be able to get married or adopt. Yeah. Um, so it wound up being way more powerful than we realized. But the power is really just in being yourself and being your authentic person and showing other people out there and, that it's okay to be exactly yeah. who you are. And we were, you know, look, we were at that time, we were one part of a bigger wheel that was mm -hmm. happening at that moment. And we were, I think we had a great hand in sort of helping move that forward. Um, but I think that um, being role model, I think what's really important is also to be approachable and to be open to the idea of when people do tell you that there's that how much it meant to them and how it's helpful to get that all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just amazing to me the stories that we've heard along the way with young people are now that were young that are now adults and they tell us about their journey yeah. and how important we were to them out just being approachable for a person to be able to say that is, I think, part of us being part of a role model because, mm -hmm. you know, it's like leaving that, opening that door and leaving it open to the next person. So hopefully that individual who had that experience will be the same. They're just like us. Yeah. Just like us. Yeah. <laughs> any, <hard> <laughs> any, any plans for the 20th anniversary? You know, oh uh, we just started thinking about that. And yeah. it's one of those things like where you're like, I can't you don't know happening. how long it's been. And you're like, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah, this is going to be 20 it. years next year. So That's we'll insane. put it out into the ether and the right. universe that we would love to do something to kind of celebrate yeah. that milestone. Mm -hmm. And we'll see what it is. We might just yeah. all get together at Shady Pines. I was going to say, and could push, be an push RS head around. It could be an RSVP day crew. <laughs> for seniors, I, as, for long as, as long as cameras are rolling, huh? <laughs> just make sure cameras are rolling so we can all be in on it. Of course. <laughs>